Keep the camera Look close. at Jimmy. Yeah, right there. We could keep both these battles in this shot. Great job, guys. Down oh, the stretch. Oh, Look out. Trouble. Kurtz into the wall. Boyer's in it as well. And Kurtz getting the worst of it. Looks like a little bump drafting going on right there. We're trying to gain the advantage. Looks like the 48 got to the back of him a little bit. Boy, he almost came back out onto the track right there. And there is the view as Kurt takes the wheel off. Man, look at this car. Oh, man, further back, Elliot Sadler. Sadler. And look at this. Gosh. The engine is out of this thing. Oh, my God. The window There's net Elliot. is down for Elliot. He's got the helmet off already. That is the best news. You can see he oh, is, he is in He is yeah, in some hurting. pain. Oh, man. I hate to see this. Look at the front of that oh, car. God. Engine completely out of the car. Check the lower right of your screen. Oh my right. gosh. Oh, oh my oh gosh. My. Hey, oh, that. Head on into that Armco. That's down that's down in a 90 degree corner. Oh, oh trouble. trouble! Steve Park is off into the infield. Another car ball over on his lid. It's Parkendale Jr. Terrible crash. Man, Steve Park's car just turned dead left when he came off turn two. Junior's running to see his teammate and see if he's okay. And getting off into that wet grass wasn't going to do anything to slow those cars down. Not earlier, There's Benny. Steve coming yeah, out of there. There he is. There we go. Good sign. That's what we wanted to see. Anyways. Oh, we got one moving into the... We saw this on pit road early. Casey Kane hits the inside wall and knocks it down. Saw some guys' helmets that were sitting up there. So a problem with Casey Kane's car goes on to pit road and the caution's yeah, out. Uh, crew members will put their helmets on pit road waiting before they have to go out there for a pit stop. And we've seen on these replays some things flying, one of those being a helmet. With a whopping 5.4 second lead and Jeff Gordon has crashed. Man, hard. that is a bad crash. It's a hard, hard lit. Drivers. He said the brakes went out. Boy, and he's hurting. I don't like the looks of that at all. So it's a long way to go to get to that wall. Here's Gordon climbing out. That's man, a good sight. That's a great sight. I'll tell you, I'm relieved. Man, oh, man. Jeff Gordon was trying to put together consecutive top ten finishes for the first time since March. Thank goodness for those things up there, guys, those safer barriers. That's, that makes all the difference in the world. You can see Jeff kneeling down, I think, looking inside the left front just to see what he could see as far as the brakes because we definitely heard him say the brakes went out into a corner where you're well over right at 200 miles per hour. Out from under this car as it hits. I just can't believe the side of that car. Race. Oh, oh hard into God. the wall is the 43. Bubba Wallace slams the wall. That car at full speed. And oh, that is the sad. greatest view we could possibly see. The window net coming down. This was a massive hit. It's in turn one, which is the end of that long front straightaway. We talk about how fast. They enter turn one, no 200 miles an hour, when something happens. And we've heard people talking about brake issues and having an issue with brakes. The Man. speed at which we saw Bubba Wallace just hit that wall, it almost looked as though he didn't have brakes. Oh, no brakes. Not a fan of this, Rick. I've seen this before. Jeff Gordon and... I were here, we had a brake failure. He took that same left-hand turn. Dale, you have to assume, seeing the 43 down in the left in the grass, he's trying to do anything to slow that car down, and what a heavy, heavy impact into that safer barrier. Oh, 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 big. oh, oh, oh big. Casey Kane gets turned yes. around. Yeah. Greg Pickle and Hall, Mark Martin is there. No caution has come out. They're gonna let him race back. Oh, he's very in, and now the caution. Six. You knew that was going to be big when you saw the nine coming back across the racetrack. Jamie McMurray has destroyed the right side of his car. Yeah, he Whose brakes fail? Was I it think Jimmy I Johnson talked, I think or was it Jamie, Jamie McMurray? I, I don't know, but I don't know. That's a know hard that hit, boys. I tell you, that was a big hit for that 48 car. Looks like 
pretty similar hit for this one car. As a race car driver, this is one of your biggest fears is a brake issue here. Oh, he's going to get out in a hurry. They were running seventh and ninth, and it's crash and burn for Jamie McMurray's car. Well, the cockpit is completely filled with smoke. Yeah, and that's oil that basically has come underneath the car and covered the back of the car. Jimmy Johnson takes a seat. That knocked the wind out of Jimmy, uh, Jeff. That, that was a really super, super hard leak. Even though that's safer barrier, that, got it, that, that really rung his bell. See if yeah, oh, right yeah. there. See the smoke, yeah. Uh, actually, the right rear. It looked like fire in the right rear. It did look like a failure in the right rear. He turns left trying to ooh, get away from that wall. Heavy impact. The right side. That'll take the wind out of you. Now, how? what, what happened here is what we've got to figure out. How did Jamie McMurray get involved? I don't know how much brake fluid would have come out of that 48 car, but it could be that Jamie Mack hit something from the 48 car. Or were there any parts or pieces that flew off right, the 48 right. car? That is... Hard, oh, that's a hard. wicked hit. Remember, we're talking 200 mile an hour down into that corner.